Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review and today I'm doing a uh, non-transformer review because my friend Memo224, check out his channel, he does awesome reviews. He sent me something that I did not expect to have in my collection because I was trying to avoid buying them because I don't have the budget for it and I still don't have the budget for it. So this probably will be the only figure of this collection that I get and it upsets me because I wish I could afford everything because it's an awesome awesome collection it's the uh NECA gargoyles and is it NECA yeah NECA NECA uh yeah Goliath he sent me the main character so that's one one of my other friends said that you really need the others now that you have the main one and I told him no but in my heart I was thinking yeah I probably do so non-transformer gargoyles was an amazing show uh, and I'm super happy to have this guy in my collection or just my shelf you know it's uh, Gorgos was a fantastic show the competition to Batman and X-Men and uh, Spider-Man that Disney came up with and for a Disney original IP I think it's an original IP but it's Disney so it's probably something that they stole from somebody else as we know Disney do all the time uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm, it was a great show. The story was amazing. The voice acting was awesome. Uh, it featured a couple of Star Trek actors like Brent Spinner and uh, Jonathan Frakes and uh, Marina Sirtis. So, and probably others. I think Worf, uh, yeah, Michael Dorn was in there too. So it's it was a fantastic cast. It was a fun show, interesting story, extremely different from what we had seen in the past. Uh, you didn't have too many cartoons that did flashbacks of you know and the whole storyline in season two is so intertwined with different things it was an awesome show so now i have this awesome figure and i know he's gonna sit alone on a shelf unless i can find a local retailer because the shipping is killing me and um there was a um, my my sponsor derek tried to get the the the, the, the figures but uh, Nika was charging him an extreme amount of shipping for these uh, these figures so he wasn't able to secure them so that's, you know, it happens, it's, it's I guess, the business, and uh, I I wish he could have gotten them, because then, yeah, and then also, I wish, I'm happy he didn't get them, because then my wife won't be able to complain that I'm, you know, getting into too much stuff, so, not that she does, she's extremely supportive, and I love her. So, yeah, we're going to take a look at Goliath, I'm very excited to, to review this one, and uh, hopefully you guys will have a good time watching this uh, review. Uh, stick to the end of the video because you can get the 10% discount code for my uh, from my sponsor DJC Collectibles uh, for anything Transformers. And also check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel. Something I'm super proud of that I'll keep doing until I'm 90. And now let's take a look at Goliath. You can, you've already noticed my background is completely messed up right now because I don't have an adequate, because of the angle of his neck, he always kind of looks down so it's hard to get the eyes on camera so I have to lower, raise my station here so that, anyway, hopefully it looks, uh, no I'm sure it looks as goofy because the way my camera set up I'm not actually seeing everything on camera. So we're gonna do quickly the accessories. So this, it, whoa, a heck of a glare there, but you can tell, come on, pick it up. There we go. That's his angry gargoyle face and it looks fantastic. Uh, but again, when I, if I switch the head, it looks down and uh, it, it kind of looks a little goofy, but the molding is fantastic. The long hair, my nephew thinks that uh, it looks uh, goofy, the, the hair like that. But I'm like, you don't know anything. So yeah. Uh, you get a couple hands. You have this, this left, right fist here, when you want to make him angry. I'll do a couple pose, not that great at posing, but you have the hand to hold the book, and I guess the jalapeno. And 
Come on, camera. There you go. Very nicely detailed and articulated. Really small pin, though. Same thing here. And there you go. So, four fingers, because it's always easier to animate four fingers rather than five. Any artist is going to tell you that. You have the book, I think. There's no way. Well, I guess this is, you know, the titles here. So this is the upside, the right way to pose it. So, and my son was like, well, what's written? I'm like, if you figure it out, you probably can summon a demon. So I don't know if this is supposed to be a representation of the uh, the Archmage book, uh, but this is a, uh, could be any book really. And when you put it in the hand, uh, yeah, you have to kind of, uh, was it this one here? In this one, well, if it's, but yeah, I did it once. You're able to slide it. Ah, there you go. Sorry, it's hard to do on camera, but there you go. Awesome. So that's when Goliath wants to have a quiet time and read. And you have the famous jalapeno. Jalapeno. I never know how to pronounce this. The hot pepper. So yeah, so I'm gonna remove the accessory from the ray station. This is a stupid way to display stuff, but right now it's that's all I got. So uh, let's do just a quick, I don't wanna move him too much cause he's dead center on camera. So I have no clue um, if I can uh, you know, keep a, a good angle like that. But the wings, you, you've already noticed, those are removable. They're fantastic. The leathery texture to it, like it's a hard plastic. I was hoping it could do, like you see on the tail, there's those little dots here. Those are the type of flexible plastic that you can pose, limitedly pose. Like it's not super articulated. It's not like a, a, a steel wire and those, yeah, things we had as a kid uh, with kind of a fuzzy thing uh, around it. You could, you know, shape them and it's, it's, it's harder to shape this. This is good. I can pose it so that the, the, the it, it really helps with the um, the posture, the, 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 the stability of the figure because he's back heavy. But uh, the belt, the tarp, I don't know if there's a way to remove that. I rarely play with accessories to remove and change. Like for the hands, I probably won't change them right now because I'm always afraid to pop a joint or stuff like that. I've switched the head once and I probably won't do it again because I'm not that experience with uh, figure swapping things. And I remember clearly when I was a kid, my Masters of the Universe figures, you could switch the arms around and I broke plenty of uh, mushroom pegs. So, uh, but I know this is different. It's supposed to be doable. So maybe later I'll do a couple uh, couple shots, but uh, I don't think so. The face sculpt is really good. He looks kind of, you know, the dark. They've added details that in the cartoon, you didn't really have that much details. Uh, in the face, so I think it's a nice addition. And the muscle details with just enough veins to, you know, show that he's flexing uh, legs. He's never skipped. He never skipped a leg day in his life. It's awesome. Same thing for the shin. Uh, and then okay, I'll move. Uh, if you can see the foot, you have an articulation uh, at. Uh, ankle you have one here at the toe it helps with poseability uh, the legs have a tight you can hear that right tight joint but it's posable the waist not that much and then you have a very very slight ab crunch but I you know what because of the tarp it's hard to tell where the articulation is and I'm afraid I'm gonna break it. So I'm not playing too much with it. But the arm does have a uh, rotation like, you know, it goes up and down like this. You have the elbow that uh, it's a double joint. Uh, so you can bend more than 90. Uh, you have that little ball here to rotate the hand. Really good. The head, you can make him go a little, sorry. Uh, look at that face, man. You've seen stuff. Uh, you can move it a little bit, but it doesn't move that much. And the wings, well, the wings do have articulation. Uh, 
because of the joint uh, in the back. Maybe I can show it better this way. And there you go. You have that joint here so you can move the wings. But uh, I don't know, for stop motion, let's say, I don't think you could do a proper uh, proper flight, uh, flight pattern. So come on, stand. He's hard to stand. Eh, there you go. But he looks fantastic. The paint, the details, it's really, really amazing. And I just realized that it's going to be a short review because it's not going to transform into anything. But, you know, uh, this again was a gift from Memo uh, because I asked him to pick up uh, Regar, which uh, you can't see, but you know, he's somewhere in this corner. And um, I was uh, excited to receive Regar because I broke my original one. And uh, he, he, he sent me a picture saying you should, you know, inquire, you should be uh, curious as to why that box is so big or something like that. And uh, yeah, well, the Gargoyle box is amazingly huge because of the, uh, the, the, the wings. Because basically it's packed in three layers, uh, two, two layers. You have the figure with the accessory and then underneath you have a separate sheet for uh, just the wings. So um, not much more I can say. I'll uh, just cut right now and I'll uh, give him the different head and uh, have him, uh, I don't know, hold the book or something just to show you and so I can get more familiar with the, uh, the actual figure. So. Give me a moment. So here he is reading a book and uh, I suck at posing. Honestly, it's not my forte, but uh, it's really good. It's a very nice nod to the show. Like Goliath was in the library reading, uh, although he was kind of more sitting or perching on um, a high chair. And uh, so, but I don't have such accessory. And then the um, jalapeno, well, there's no way to peg it or anything in the hand so it's just you know you just put it resting in his hand so and uh, it looks uh, pretty good uh, now let me uh, put on the uh, angry head as I said I'm shit at posing but this is Goliath with a fist and the angry face and it looks pretty good and actually with the angry face there's a little hole and if you want to uh, he's gonna lose balance but uh, hold on so oh, yeah, you can actually somehow, I don't know if that's what it's intended, but you can peg the uh, pepper, the jalapeno, in the mouth. So he's holding it like a cigar. Anyway, it looks goofy, but there you go. Uh, here's Goliath in his uh, righteous fury uh, because his kind is being oppressed and uh, there's only a couple of them around the earth and uh, he's upset, so you know, understandable. So I love this figure memo. Thank you so much for sending me this gift. It's, I have no idea how I'm going to repay you, but I will. And it's a fantastic figure. And I do plan to look for good deals if I'm able to find them anywhere uh, and uh, not pay through the roof for shipping. Because they're pretty big boxes. So I'm guessing it's not going to be just 10 bucks. And uh, yeah, so. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Sorry if it was a little more chaotic than usual because I couldn't use my uh, normal setup uh, But uh, it's um, you know, it, I just wanted to show this guy to you because it's fantastic If you love gargoyles, you need this heck I need this. I just can't afford it right now So that's it. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed their video If you did, please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment. I love reading those Keep coming back, I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.